I'm Jamie Craig, the Queen Curator at the Horniman Museum and Gardens, and I'm working on sexual reproduction of corals in captivity. So corals are, are quite complicated animals to keep in captivity, but to get them to spawn is even harder. Seeing corals spawn in the wild is, is one of nature's wonders. So the sun has set, the moon is rising, and it starts slowly to begin with, but then there's a big crescendo that all of a sudden the corals are releasing all these egg sperm bundles. It almost looks like snow, but floating up rather than coming down. Scientists believe that there's an interplay between the sun intensity and the lunar cycle triggers the coral to go, not just on one day of the year, but often to the very minute of the year. So the work that we're doing here, we're trying to replicate the synchronous spawning. So this mass spawning event once a year, but it's very, very complicated because there's so many parameters. So this is the, the first research system that we built. Trying to replicate all these environmental conditions wouldn't be possible without really the kind of microprocess, which is the brains behind the system. The pumps, the lighting, we can control the waxing, the waning of the moon, all done artificially using LED lighting. Our corals came from, from Fiji, southeast Fiji, and we found data from that exact location where they came from, and we put that data into our, our systems, and that replicates then the sun's intensity, the lunar cycle, and that stimulates the corals to then reproduce on this one spawning event a year. I always thought this was going to be pretty hard because it had never been done. <laughs> It's now 10 to midnight on the 6th of October 2013. We're here at the Hornwood Museum and Gardens uh, in South East London. We've just had uh, this Acropora uh, prostrata spawning for about the last uh, half an hour. It started at about 11.23. The goal of our work is to make it predictable, understand and unlock the keys to these triggers. It provides an opportunity to study the effects of climate change on reproduction, not just once a year during these mass spawning events, but throughout the whole year. So it will really open up a whole new area of research science.